Hello, welcome to another episode of the Autistic Gang. Today, I'm behind the pyramids again. And this morning, the um, sliding wheel seat turned up, which I'm quite happy about. It's what I ordered. So I'm hoping that this one's going to be alright for me tonight. I bought the camera, but you never guess what I did. I left, I left the car at home, so I'll have to do it on the phone tonight. Anyway, I'll get back to you to show you. Yeah, I forgot to say, obviously it's six ounce weight, with a whole squid on a putty. And on the Gorvel, I've got the other pen. Oh, I didn't say, I've got braid on the first one. And on this one, it's got monofilament. With some uh, Berkeley sandworms tipped with squid. And in the back, that's South Parade Pier. Well, I can't believe it. Got a decent smooth out look. And you'll never guess what, yet again, bloody rod broke. Never mind, look at that. Fantastic. Well, they are part of the shark family, but they're called smooth outs because they haven't got teeth. Yeah. Anyway, I want to put it back in the water, mate. Can you do me a little favour? Just point that at me and the fish. It's not particularly big, it's a couple of pounds, isn't it? So after that calamity, lucky enough, I brought the Robex with me. And I've just had a look. And this one, it broke. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Right where they put the glass tip on. Yeah. There you go, you can see, so, yes it was my fault for trying to lift it up out of the water, but it's broken right in the joint where they, I don't know how they joined it, but wherever they, however they joined the glass tip. So, still blowing a bit, and I've had no sign on the whole squid. I think I'll put a bit of mackerel on there in a minute. So I'll just chuck this one out. I just put the squid in and it's had a bit of a bunch so I've just put a bit of mackerel on it. So we've got a squid and mackerel going out now. So, never easy with me, there's always something. So, at least these two I've got a tip that will break. Fingers crossed. So it's getting dark and the six and bait just came back without a hook on. So I've had to just replace it. Really just had a chuck with it. So we're getting a little bite on the uh, whole squid on the six of bait, which is the one nearest me. It's been tensed.
So we're still getting bites on the whole squid, which is the orange line. Every time I try and catch it, nothing happens, so we reckon it's small fish like bream or something. It's only a single pulley. It's a 3 0. There you go. Just making sure it wasn't the neighbours that are fishing. Well, not the neighbours, the people next to me. And that wasn't. But like I say, all we can guess that it's something that's not quite big enough to take the uh, the squid, but it's having a good old tug on it. Right, get back to you if there's something to show you. So there's been no interest on the uh, two at flapper at all. So I've taken it off the Robex, which is the one nearest me, and I've put a mackerel fillet on. I thought I just saw another bite on the squid, so I've got squid on the red line and mackerel on the green line. And it's gone past high tide, it's about an hour past high tide now. So that's the last cast in the water now then. Okay, so that's me done then. 